Hallelujah. Amen. I want to welcome you once again to the Breakthrough Prayer Conference online. I believe that in this atmosphere that the presence of God is so strong, you will connect with Him so that as you pray, you're going to see the hand of the Lord because there is power in prayer. Prayer changes things. Prayer can do everything. Prayer brings protection around us. Prayer gives us power. Prayer gives us dominion. So when we begin to pray, as we connect together, there is trem tremendous power yes. in prayer that overrules every law and every rule of the kingdom of darkness. There is power to lift us to the higher heights where God has ordained for us to be. Amen. Because we have the DNA of Jesus Christ in our life, because Jesus Christ is our intercessor and he is praying. And he urged us that men always ought to pray and not to faint. In every situation that we get into, it is prayer that will bring a change. It is prayer that will give us answer. It is prayer that will bring us into divine alignment. Without prayer, man is completely out of course. That is why Paul also said that pray without ceasing. So prayer is so much important in the life of every believer. That is why our prayer is that the body of Christ will come back to the place of prayer. So that as we pray, we will always be in charge. That is the mind of God for us. From the beginning, God said that man should have dominion over everything on earth. And he should subdue. And so we have that uh, a DNA in our in our bloodstreams in our system that as we begin to pray we bring back to life anything that was lost from the beginning and we bring into alignment what God has for us when we pray the heavens open on our behalf that every need in our lives will be met I pray that as you connect with us in prayer this night you will see tremendous change. The Lord God will hear you as you connect with us. I want us to share a scripture from the Bible which we will stand upon to pray. The word of God is powerful. As Jesus used the word, he always said, it is written. And as he used that word, we saw that he overcame. There is power in the word of God. The Bible says that the words that I speak they are spirit and they are life. Therefore, let us receive life from the word of God. I'm reading from the book of Job. Job chapter 14. If you have your Bibles, turn with me to Job chapter 14. We're going to read some few scriptures here. And then we're going to stand upon to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Job chapter 14 verse 7. And then we'll read 14 as well. Job 14 verse 7. He says, For there is hope of a tree, if it is cut down, that it will sprout again, and that the tender branch thereof will not cease. This is what Job was describing in this area or the, of this context from the word of God. It is talking about a tree. When a tree is planted, one of the things that we see with the trees is that trees last much more longer on earth. They have a long lifespan. And he says that when the tree is cut down, so far as the root is there, there is the possibility that it will sprout again. He says that, that the tender branch thereof will not cease. We are going to see branches. When you see a tree that has branches, that means it is being fruitful. Or fulfilling its purpose but when it is cut or the leaves are cut off the root will be there but you see that its purpose will not be fulfilled it will be like the tree is barren and many people have gone through similar things your life might have flourished many years back you see that things were going on fine fellowship was nice business was moving on and many, many things was happening, but a time came that everything changed. It is like 
a tree that has been cut and the leaves and everything are no more there. But I want to assure you right now that it is not over until God says it is over. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I remember Nebuchadnezzar and the Lord made him great, brought a lot of kingdoms under him. One day as he was walking on top of his uh, house, he said that my hand and my might has gotten me all these things. Immediately, the Lord turned everything around. Instead of becoming a king, he became an animal. And then he started eating grass. He was driven into the wilderness. He ate grass like an animal for some season. And then at a particular time, he came back to his senses. And then he realized that God was God in everything. And it is he who have given. He, has, uh, he takes care of the affairs of men. He establishes kingdom and he tears down kingdoms. So when he realized that the Lord was God, God brought him back. He restored him. In a vision that was revealed or a dream, it was like a tree that was cut. A similar picture as we see from Job. But after some time, it, its branches started sprouting again. So, you might have been raised or you have enjoyed many, many things before, but the enemy has attacked you in one way or the other and then brought things to a state that you think probably there, there's no hope. But I want you to understand that the Bible says that there is hope of a tree. So that means that if there's hope for a tree, how much more you who have been bought by the blood of Jesus Christ, you have a better hope than a tree. Therefore, if you are even down, you will still rise again. Amen. You cannot be defeated. Because defeat and what you call it, um, failure, is not in your DNA. Amen. The Bible says that whosoever is born of God, overcome it. Yes. Therefore, in the plans of God and in your system, you have been born to overcome. Amen. You have been born to be victorious. Amen. You have been born to take dominion. You've, you have been born to be above and not beneath. Therefore, if anything that happens, you have to know that God is in control and there shall be restoration. Amen. From Job chapter 14, verse 14, Job says something. He says, if a man die, shall he live again? All the days of my appointed time, I will wait till my change come. Amen. I want to assure you that if there's a hope of a tree, that means that as you hope on the Lord and as you wait on him, your appointed time will come. Amen. And I believe that in such a season and time that we are in, your appointed time is due. Amen. And that the Lord will not pass you by. But I believe that as we begin to pray, there is always shifting through prayer. Things that have been deviated or derailed by the course of the enemy are brought back when we pray. Because God is a faithful God. Job was saying that in his time, he will still wait for the set time because his appointed time is just around the corner. And as we look at the life of Job, Job went through a similar issue like the tree, which was cut. Job was a wealthy man. He was somebody who was very great. If you are describing him today, we will say he's one of the billionaires in his days. He had everything, servants. Whatever he had, what do you call it, um, yoke of oxen and other things, many, many things. But within a short time, he lost everything instantly and he didn't understand. There was something that was going on beyond his sin. And he was saying that God has given to him and God has taken. But God didn't take. It was the devil who did it. The, uh, Paul told us that in Ephesians chapter 6 that we should put on the whole armor against the evil day. There's an evil day that has been said that the enemy will use to strike. But when we are on our feet and we are vigilant, we will always overcome. Amen. But I want to assure you that you have not been born to be defeated. You have not been born to be a failure in life. In any way, you are born to be victorious. And it is prayer that always changes the course. Hallelujah. Amen. 
And as we look at Job, there's another scripture in Job 42, which makes us see that Job prayed, and then everything about him changed. Job 42 verse 10 tells us that, And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Hallelujah. Amen. For the first place, Job thought that he has lost everything. But a time came that after he has gone through all the pain, all the difficulty, all the trials that he went through, the Lord told him that he should pray because he was accused of being a sinner. And I know that many people are going through similar issues. Many people don't know what the Lord is working behind the scenes in your life. Sometimes he's preparing you for a greater glory, a greater blessing. So when he begins to tear some of the things that to uh, try to lift you in pride, you might even think, people might think that you have sinned against God. That is why all these things are befalling you. But I want to assure you that God is about to bring double in your life. Amen. And I believe that everything will come through prayer. The Bible says that when Job prayed, whether he interceded, whether he prayed a prayer of petition, he prayed. Yes. What we saw here was prayer. By the medium of prayer, the Bible says that he turned his captivity and then he gave him double. He prayed for his friends because his friends came to uh, accuse him that he has sinned against God. And God told them that they never spoke well of his servant. And if he doesn't pray for them, they will be in trouble. So they were asked to give some sacrifices and Job did it and prayed. When he prayed, something happened. Job had double of everything that he lost. And I believe that we are in a time that the former rain and the latter rain are going to be poured. So whatever you had before, it might be that you had a ministry with many members, but it's going to be double. It might be that you were having a business, and that business, though maybe big or small, whatever it is, is going to be raised to double. Amen. And everything will be through prayer. As you have connected with us, God is going to do our something in your life. Hallelujah. If you are believing the Lord for a wife, for a husband, for a fruit of the womb, for a, a particular breakthrough, God is going to give you double. Amen. Because we are in a time of the Spirit where the former and the latter rain are going to be released. And as we pray, we are going to see it. Because it is through the medium of prayer that we can weaken the hand of the enemy in any way. When you begin to pray, Satan gets weaker. There's a saying that says that more prayer, more power. Little prayer, little power. And God said that he has given us power over the power of the enemy. For us to see this power manifest, it is through the medium of prayer. As we begin to pray, we mount up with wings as eagle. We come to the place that has been apportioned for us. So tonight, I want you to join me as we believe God and pray for whatever you are going through. I know that God is turning away your captivity right Amen. now. Whatever has hold, held you bound, anything that is not making you fruitful, anything that is trying to bring you defeat, is going to fall right now. Amen. And right now, I want us to pray. As we get into the spirit realm, I want you to apply, release the blood of Jesus. Release the weapons of the Almighty. Speak to that situation. Begin to break the power of the enemy. Break his hand against uh, that situation, whatever you are going through. And I know that as you pray, there will be divine shift, divine alignment. And God is going to bring things on your behalf. You are going to see a change come in your life because the time and your season has come and it is now. Let us begin to pray. Attack the situation because we are supposed to move forward. Begin to pray. Begin to release the blood of Jesus against that situation. There is power in the blood. blood the blood is one of the weapons of the enemy. Let us all begin to pray right now. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Rikapata, loka bili kali korobo shimbra katisi ya. In the name of Jesus, 
Father, it is my season today. Rabba By the power of the blood of Jesus, I come against every form of captivity. I come against every form of bondage. In the name of Jesus, Raki Patani De, Ruko To Sunduria Masaita, Raka Pasin De Likoria Tayi, Akoto, Imbali De, Ashin De Libaraba Santoria, Shin De Kapali Du, Mekapa Kasunduria Mashandaya, Rabakata Kasukotoria De Yama, Mekata Saya, Rabbe Katusenduria Ba, Mekato Sokobu, in the name of Jesus, I break every evil power, I break every hand of the enemy. Enemy. I break satanic power even through the weather. I break satanic power even through the season, through the day. Every programming through the sun, the moon, the stars, I declare them destroyed. I break every satanic power over the earth that I walk on in the name of Jesus. Makita Saya, Rako Posoto, Rimata, Akorobo Shande Kamasaya, in the name of Jesus. Rakapata, Lekutoria, Mekiti Kasa. And look for the Shande Kaye in the Kalo, Ibrakata, Asuloria Mashanda Kabasuri in Taya, in the name of Jesus, Rakata Pusoto Yempa, Ibakata, look for the Bokadis in Kitaye, in the name of Jesus, Bokapaki Telekorian Tasumbohi, Rabakata Kasakaya Kalikurubu Shande Taya, in Tasuri, Rakapu Santeria Taya, Rukamata, Lekoto Korea. In the name of Jesus, Makale, Rubakata Kasunduria, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. We are going to tackle another area. In the time of Job, when the enemy was attacking, the Bible says that fire came from heaven and destroyed his animals. And then there was something that I can describe like the hurricane which pulled down his house where his children were, and the house fell on them. So you can see that some of the things concerning the weather as we see, they are not natural because Satan is behind. In the time of Job, Satan sought permission from God to do it. So sometimes some kind of weather can be destroying things, but you might say that this is nature. There is a power behind the Bible says that the sun will not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. That means that there is some evil programming in the sun and in the moon that can smite you either in the day or in the night. So we are going to pray. There are some things that is mysterious to the body of Christ. Until God gives you revelation, even the earth that we walk on, the, the enemy can program things on the earth. As you walk on it, you will not be successful in life. Until you begin to understand and deprogram anything that has been set on the earth. So that whatever you, when you walk on, you will be fruitful. The work of your hand can be attacked in different ways. So we are going to pray as we are going to release the blood of Jesus into the sun and into the moon. Anything that has been programmed, I want you to deprogram them. Anything that has been set forth against you, against your family, against your loved ones, against your ministry, against your business, I want you to pray and deprogram them. And as you deprogram them, they shall be so. And you speak to the earth that you walk on. Anything that has been programmed on the earth to make you a failure, begin to cancel it and destroy the power of failure and defeat on the earth. The Bible says that there's a pestilence that walk in noonday. I want you to pray that any pestilence, anything that has been said to walk in the noonday to disadvantage you, it should fall down and die. Begin to attack in prayer. Let us all begin to pray. Because there's power in prayer. And prayer changes things. In the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord and my God. Your word declares that the sun will not smite me by day, nor the moon by night. Anything that has been pre-programmed in the sun, I deprogram it by the power of the blood. Anything that has been programmed in the moon, I 
against me, against my family, against my ministry, against my business, against my loved ones, sir. I the program them in the name of Jesus, sir. Anything that has been programmed on the earth to disadvantage me in my life, in my ministry, in my career, in, 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 in my business, uh, by the power of the blood of Jesus, uh, I declare them destroyed. I deprogram them uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, any messenger of Satan that has been sent uh, to what has been in the noon day uh, to this advantage me in my work with the Lord, in my business, in my ministry, in my calling. I command it to fall down and die in the name of Jesus. I release the weapons of the Almighty against them. I release tender. I release lightning in the name of Jesus. I cancel. I destroy every satanic hurricane. I destroy satanic storms in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, 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 in